Hello, this is Chaudhry Mahmood Anwar. How are you? I hope every one of my viewers is fine and enjoying their research journey. Uh, today I am going to explain how to create a MDM file in Hierarchical Linear Modeling 7 HLM7 software to analyze uh, the nested data. This video uh, will explain the basic file configuration and creation of uh, the basic HLM file so that we may analyze the nested data. In addition, I will also explain how to make a null model or a baseline model that serves as the basic model for the nested data analysis. First, we will start from SPSS and uh, you can see uh, we will open the data file that we have created in SPSS this is our data file hlmdemo.sav it's opening the file is open now I'll shift to the variable view there are six variables you can see that student and class are id variables and extra version gender and stat score of students are level one variable whereas teacher experience is level two variable yeah student identity class identity ids these are ids to determine uh, what variable belongs to what grouping so stat score is the student stat, stat score which is dependent on level 1 variables extra version and gender and also uh, we will test its uh, the impact of uh, teachers experience which is a level 2 variable on stat scores so this is the stat score basic variable which is an outcome variable Here in um, SPSS data file, uh, you can see that uh, there are 20 students from class 1. And again, there are 20 students from class 2. There are 18 students from class 3. Similarly, Let me scroll it down. It's a large data set. So there are 20 students from class 100. It means that there are 100 classes and uh, it means that there are 100 teachers as well. And there are 2000 respondents, means students, uh, included in the data set. Let me go back. Now I'll run the HLM7 software. The initial window of HLM7 is like this. We will make a new MDM file. We will select stat package input. Here you can see in nested models there are three options HLM level 2, level 3 and level 4. Whatever you want to make you can select then hierarchical multivariate linear models hmlm and its level 2 model and cross classified models hcm2 hlm hcm and hcm3 well keep in mind if you want to analyze uh, multiple membership models then uh, hlm7 would not work you have to use mlwin if you want to analyze multiple membership models but for cross classified models it will work very fine click ok we will use hlm2 because we are making just two level model this is the make mdm file main display you can open mdmt file you can save you can edit an existing file first of all we will name the new file demo mdm 
The input file type is our, our file type is SPSS. You can import files from SPSS, SAS5, SysStat, and Strata. We will use SPSS file. The structure of data you can define cross section measures within groups and longitudinal data. We will use uh, cross section. Here you will specify the level 1 variable. And level two variables. So simply you will browse. But keep in mind if there is missing data, then it will create problem. You have to click on click uh, delete missing level one data. Uh, try to make sure there is no missing data. Then click on browse and select the SPSS file that is HLM demo in our case. You can see the path uh, is displayed, file has been loaded. Now you will choose the variables. In our case, uh, the grouping variable is class. So we will select uh, class as our grouping variable and extraversion, gender, and stat score as our level 1 variables now come to level 2 specification click on browse upload the file spss file see the path choose variables again select class as grouping variable and level 2 variable which is teachers experience select this okay now, if you want to uh, use special dependence specification, you can also input this. But in case, in this case, we are not using this. Then click on Make MDM. You need to save the response file. First of all, we need to save this file because we have created a new file. So click on Save MDMT. Give it a name. New demo. It says new name, save. You can also edit the file. Now click on make MDM. It's created the file now. You can see the output level 1 descriptive statistics, extraversion, gender, and stat score. Number of subjects are 2000. It's mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum. And similar for level two, descriptive statistics, teacher's experience, is number of respondents are 100 or number of classes are 100, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. Now click on done. Here you can see that you have created the basic MDM file in HLM7. It would uh, look like this. Now you will uh, configure this file. You can see that all uh, the radio buttons are disabled except file radio button. Click on outcome. Now select uh, the, the option based on the distribution of your outcome variable normal, uh, Bernoulli, Python, binomial. If you're using uh, categorical data, then you can use multinomial or ordinal. In our case, we will use normal distribution. You can also upload the residual files. You have to title your your new file, it's new demo, and the output file name is this. This file will be opened in in this is a, in fact an analysis file. It will be opened in your internet browser. If you want to make a graph file, then of course um, you have to specify it, and it will automatically uh, display. Now click on OK.
Okay, this is uh, level one. Level one variables um, have been successfully entered into the model. Now, if you click on level two, level one outcome must be chosen first. So you have to choose the level one outcome. So in our case, stat score is the outcome variable for level one. So we will choose it. Here you can see the basic model is there now. Congratulations. Level one model stat score is equal to beta plus r and level 2 model beta is equal to gamma plus u so you can also see the mixed model mixed model mean uh, simply if we add the level 1 model and level 2 model it will give us the mixed model. See, stat score is equal to gamma plus u plus r. We simply, software added level two model into level one. Now you will click on a level 2. You can see intercept is there. And teacher experience is the level 2 variable which is there. Here's the level 1 variable. So the model has been properly uh, specified. Now you will configure the file. Click on estimation settings, other settings, estimation settings. And click on full maximum likelihood and click on OK. Then again click on other settings and output settings and check the print variance covariance matrix and click on OK. And after that, uh, you can run the analysis, but I'll show you in my next video how to analyze uh, this null model. This model is called null model or baseline model. So this is the basic of um, MDM file for hierarchical linear modeling, nested data analysis. Uh, from this, uh, we will go forward. And uh, in my next video, I'll tell you how to analyze this uh, null or baseline model. Thank you very much for watching this video.